Hey, it's a beautiful day in northeast Georgia. And I have just met the Moto Rick. That's Rick there in front of me. I've been watching Rick for uh, over a year. And really, he lives pretty close. Probably two hours if you were, you know, going to travel interstate, which I usually don't on the bike. But um, I Facebooked rick last night telling him i was going to go ride and he called me and so we have just met in suches and we are just outside of suches to the east on 180. we're on 180 a little east of suches and this 180 has got some really cool parts and we're coming up on the coolest part right now big switch back at the bottom of a hill yeah, this is it right here. This is super cool. It's great when you can see it a little bit better down the hill there, but this huge hairpin here going down this hill is cool. Well, you can find us on YouTube if you're interested. Awesome. That, that'll be my channel, but he, he follows me pretty closely, so you'll be able to access him through my channel, too. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely check it out. And y'all do... This is a really cool place that the Moto Rick has brought me to. This is called Mark of the Potter. It's right on a little river. I don't know the name of the river. Uh, S-O-Q-U-E. I think it's so okay. All right. He doesn't know the name of it either. We're right off the back of the Mark of the Potter. And those may be the biggest trout I've ever seen. I don't have a way to show how big they are, really. But they must be the biggest ones. are probably 18 inches long. The sign back there said we are on North Highway 17 which is a lovely little stretch of road must be uh, just a few miles north of Helen, Georgia that's the Moto Rick there in front of me we've been having a, having a blast we're about to jump on 180 which will take us back over to Brasstown Bald well I've parted company with the Moto Rick we parted company around Blairsville, Georgia. He had somewhere to be this evening. I had somewhere to be this evening. You know, another thing that's pretty normal is I don't know that I got hardly any actual face-to-face -face footage with Moto Rick. But that's how it usually goes. Usually when you got that face-to-face -face time, you're uh, enjoying getting to know the person so much that uh, you don't really think much about getting video footage. And I guess that's the way that it should be. So, uh, still enjoying meeting uh, the Moto Vlogger guys and gals. And I hope I get to meet you soon. Give me a call.